This hairstyle in the UK would cost me $90, but here in Zimbabwe, it cost a total of $13. Great savings, but not enough to justify the cost of the flight. Thankfully, I came to Zimbabwe for so much more than affordable hair. With a plethora of cultural experiences, great food and adrenaline-filled adventures, it would be unjust to not sample just some of what Zimbabwe has to offer. But if we jump ahead, you'll miss the daylight robbery in Heathrow, South Africa's unfortunate reputation and the immediate cultural differences apparent upon landing in Zimbabwe. So let's go back to the start and join my family and I as we travel to Zimbabwe. Guys, it's showtime. <laughs> Look at our luggage, please. So we've actually got two cars. <laughs> this is just so funny. But yeah, it's finally happened. What'd you say, Ma? Showtime? Showtime. Woo! And we made it. We did. Well done, gang. Well done. Sadly, my family is notorious for missing flights. So when we do run on schedule, we have to celebrate every small win. <laughs> Funny. Now here's the thing, we were traveling via South Africa and everybody had warned us about the thefts at Johannesburg airport. But they failed to warn us about the daylight robbery at Heathrow airport. Guys, Nikki and I have decided to wrap our bags. Oh, Nikki, are you only wrapping one? Oh, she's ditched me. Because guys, look at these prices. This is just insanity. I don't know. But I'm worried because this is fine-ish, but it has all my gifts for everyone, all of them. And then this one, because it's two parts, I just feel more comfortable if it's wrapped to make it one. It's fine. I'll just be 50 pounds poorer. Who needs to eat? Airports are always stressful. Do you know what the craziest thing is? Um, it hasn't fully sunk in yet that this is the start of my backpacking trip. A friend of mine texted me, oh my goodness, it's your last day in the UK. How do you feel? And I was like, I have started with that picture. Wait, this is crazy. Idi, how long this flight? Oh my goodness, now we're in SA, second layover. We're really cold, so we're gonna race each other to stay warm <laughs> and hopefully not get in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got in trouble. <laughs> Halfway through the running, you could hear them shout it. Okay, so this was our fault. It's probably not wise to run in any airport. But sadly, the stuff at Johannesburg Airport does have a reputation for being unfriendly and slightly hostile. And I guess knowing that, we really shouldn't have triggered them. But this aside, we have previously received and witnessed unprovoked attitude from immigration staff here. And considering they form the first impression of a country, I do look forward to a time when staff in South African airports have less of an attitude and are more welcoming. But for now, you just bite your tongue, smile, and treat yourself to some biltong. You're in the best place in the world for it. Give you guys a review of the biltong. It is going in. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is what happens when you... I don't understand. This boy just got up and picked up this bag and he was like, oh, is this where the snacks are? Nikki's like, yes, my snacks. He's like, oh, sorry, I thought they were Tino's. And then he confidently came to rummage through my bag and he's even taking it. And he went for my favorite snack. Guys, look. He knows they're my favorite ones. The hot chocolate's really good. The what? When did you get hot chocolate? How much was it? So where did you find money? $3. Where did you find money? <laughs> yeah? nice. What do you mean? But you, you remember you used my money up there because you didn't have money? Yeah, no, but the money was in my bag downstairs. He's a hustler. <laughs> He's a hustler. <laughs> From Johannesburg Airport, we boarded the smallest plane I'd ever been on to date. But spoiler alert, I do go on tinier flights during my four months in Africa. <laughs> You're literally <laughs> touching the ceiling. <laughs> it's so funny. A quick hour flight later, we landed in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe, and were greeted by our family members. Now all 19 of us and 41 pieces of luggage needed to find a way home. <laughs> There's not enough cars for everyone, so each man for himself. My uncle was the first one in the car. He was like, let me secure a seat, and then we just fall out. Don't know. You need to know the procedures, otherwise uh -huh. you'll be left behind. Uh -huh. you get left. <laughs> 
and I just didn't want to go and show the car. He was already that. revving. I was like, no. Like, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Well, I was like, oh no, let's not stack up the bags because then the driver can't see back. Well, so this he goes, he doesn't now. need to see no, back. The car's going forward. He needs to see forward. Don't look at like, oh, all right. The rules have changed. The rules have changed. How's it tasting? The chicken is so, so nice. Really? Okay, now I can't wait. Joe, are you enjoying it? Yes. After a long journey, make it good. The next day, we faced a typical travel challenge, navigating local transportation in a foreign country. Now, of course, Zimbabwe is not foreign to me, but a lot had changed in the four years since I was last here, so it <laughs> was still confusing. Again. So, <laughs> um, we're trying to get to town because we need to get our hair done. Um, our parents ditched us in the morning. Let's not talk about that. It's okay, the wound is still fresh. They ditched us, so now we're trying to make our own way, right? And we're thinking, oh, we'll get in Chova which is like a collective which is dumb what is that it's like a little taxi cab kind of thing but they don't have that around here so the man um one of the what are they called like the maintenance guys caretaker, yes caretaker he was explaining oh get something called epsicon but my thing is we were stood on the other side of the road we were over there and he was looking at cars that are coming from there and then nobody see any he said okay cross the road and look and i'm like okay but then these cars are now going in a different direction <laughs> to where we're where we were initially stood do you guys know what i mean secondly it is freezing look what i'm wearing look what i'm wearing i got a thick i have i have a vest then a polo neck then a hoodie then a jacket it's cold in zimbabwe y'all it's the wind we needn't have worried because the cars actually have the name written over them in bold letters and it only cost one dollar for the two of us to take a 20 minute ride into town absolute bargain but I must say, whilst we're used to squeezing many people in the back seats of a car, I was surprised to see two people sharing the front seat. But hey, when in Rome. Oh, okay, never mind, even in the front. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, girl. <laughs> Interesting. We got to town and we've just been wandering about for like 10 minutes and we finally found somewhere we can get our hair done. It's like a massive complex with loads of hairdressers. This is the colour I went for. I don't know. It's a bit... It's, it's gold. But I just thought hair is hair. It's fine. If I don't like it, it's okay. In two weeks we can change it. So that's fine. It's so busy here. It's so cool. I'll try and give you guys like an overview. But there's like a lot happening. There's like... Maybe 30 hairdressers. Like she said, they just rent a chair and they're like, they all do it. It's wild. And I'm pretty sure she said $10 to do my hair. Then I paid a dollar each for a packet. One dollar for a packet. Guys, they charge us seven pounds in the UK. They charge us seven pounds in the UK. And here's one dollar. It's crazy. But yeah, showtime. Now, if you don't have natural hair, take it from me. This was very painful. Like the baby behind was crying, I feel her pain. I absolutely loved this hair. And whilst I don't subscribe to the notion of no pain, no gain, I must say that this was definitely worth the painful blow drying session at the beginning. And the hair was still looking great when it came time to take it out weeks later. I'm proud to say Zimbabwean hairstylists are some of the best out there. All right, my tea, Nonzi. I just want a small one and just don't. It feels hard. It's very long. It's not breaking. Look at them sat here like an old married couple just <laughs> enjoying their retirement. I just wanted to say, me and Nikki, Nikki, go say hi. Hey! No, we did it. We did it. Because we took ourselves to town. We got our hair done. We bought SIM cards. We bought snacks. What? We bought cake. What? And then we brought ourselves back home. We were like, tell them what we said. Tell them what we said to text. Phase two. Phase two. <laughs> then they're like, um, straight or we're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, how beautiful is this place we're staying? Look at this. And it's got like a swimming pool and everything. And then the sun is perfect for the photo shoots. Look at the photo shoots. And my brother who doesn't care about all that. He's just He's just chilling. My little cousins are out here playing with the ball by the pool. God is good. God is good. Day two with beautiful sunsets. I just want to show you guys what we got from the market. Um, well, it wasn't even market, was it? 
It was in town and there was like a little stall that we came across. I can't wait to get into this. We've got musawu, we've got mbum bum, which I tried this as my trying something new every day. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. But it makes you very thirsty. Oh, you already know. This is me. You need to soak this in water, then you can eat it. Oh my gosh, I love this. Like but it's not raisins. Yeah, but it's always No, because raisins are terrible. These are nice. Matoe, I think I said that too much confidence. We got two because Nikki wanted one, I wanted one. Yeah. But is that all? It felt like we bought a lot. But like I said, we didn't travel all the way to Zimbabwe just to get our hair done at a lower cost. No, in our three weeks in Zimbabwe, I traveled to Victoria Falls and to Great Zimbabwe. I ate all the food and snacks on offer and I spent time with family I don't have the chance to see often. However, the main reason we came here was for my late grandfather's memorial service. In Shona, we call it Magadziro. I personally haven't seen any other culture conduct a ceremony like this, so I'm honored to share this with you in the next video. For now, enjoy some random clips of me and my cousins and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and do consider yeah, subscribing to support my channel. Say hi. hi. So hi. your name is Nesu. Shout out to Joshi Yoshi 5. Go subscribe to his channel. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Subscribe to uh, Josie's channel. I'm not oh. Josie. This is so embarrassing. And Josie's channel. I'm yeah. not Josie. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Josie? Um, she was, I don't know where she is right now. Does Josie do YouTube? Pardon? Just just say you YouTube? Yeah. No. Just say so you forgot my name, Nessu. Subscribe to my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> so you know Josie. You know Nikki. You know you know who my brother is? Okula. Hey! She Nikki. Okay. Nessu, we're gonna Goodbye, sit Nessu. you down. <laughs> when, when everyone is here, we're gonna sit you down and we're gonna introduce you. No. What do you mean I'm gonna he just knows yeah. people's names in our family <laughs> he's like who's in this big family <laughs> let me just guess the name one of them is right <laughs> do you want to try myself um okay they're nice let me put my reaction on youtube the, the red ones yeah i was looking you want your reaction to be on youtube <laughs> yeah it has a seed in it. Yeah, it has a seed. Okay, I think I've had this. You don't have a whole pack. It's even more. She didn't even bring this packet. I bought it. You're taking too long to cook. He's wasting it. He's going to spit out my stomach. I was looking forward to this specific one. Look at it. Look at the shape. Guys. No, there's air all over I bought a whole packet. Look at this. Can you guys even see where the crisps are? Guys, there's like four packs in there. It's anyway. not the point. <laughs> if the bags are always white, full you know, of if... air anyway. Guys, you've left me crumbs. <laughs> because I was busy teaching our cousin about our family tree. Anyway, guys. Talk to you later. <laughs>